what's good people and welcome to my youtube channel it's your boy again Jola graphics and today um i'm kind of excited today because um it's actually my birthday and okay before i even start this tutorial properly if you have something good you like to tell me like a birthday wish please i'll be expecting it down in the description section below whenever you're watching this video i know it might be a day two days a week a month even a year after my birthday but i'm sure you can do something you can drop a note for me and i'll be glad to see you guys comment down in the description section without any further ado i'm going to be taking you guys straight into today's tutorial um what we'll be doing actually is um a birthday flyer uh, do I say fire? No, let me say a petty um, alert design. Yeah, so it's kind of like a design you do for somebody about to do a birthday so they can notify people that okay, well, today's my birthday. So that's the design I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do. So the first thing I want to do is create a square because it's going to be an online kind of flyer, so it's um, actually going to be a square size. So something like this. I use the 1000 by 1000 pixel. So this is all the write-up and the text um, that will be contained in the design. So well, let's quickly start the arrangement. I'm giving this a black color. Okay. Actually, I love this font. I just downloaded it um, yesterday, I guess. Okay. Okay, Juliana is plus one today Juliana oh. is plus one today so you just carefully arrange this part then um this wish is over here also copy then take it down and paste October 16, 2020. Okay, so I think <coughs> that's all the write up. So let me quickly take you guys. This is the folder of where everything I'm using this tutorial are located. So let me quickly drag in this picture. Maybe use the side of it. Then I'll go down here, quit, create a new layer, and then give it um, shit. I want to give it a blue color, something like this, a very dark blue color. I don't want it to be black color. Then I'll change this one to luminosity, so it could blend well. So we we'll create a new layer mask. We use it using this um, bucket over here. Then you kind of like paint it black over this side, like this. I know some of you don't know how this works, so let me quickly explain it to you guys. And for those that know, please don't skip, just keep watching. So now, this layer mask of it's in it's confusing at first it confuses me a lot so let me just quickly take like five minutes to explain this briefly okay so um, let me quickly delete this so now you have a picture like this what a layer mask how a layer mask works um it's kind of like a mask so if you create a mask like this you're going to create a mask over here so um do you, you i want you to see it like this every part that is white over here is the places that are visible so any place that is black let's um use our um our paint bucket to to paint this you know we are this place is we are assuming everything is white over here and just click over here making everything black now everything black hides everything so the black color will hide everything in your layer mask why the white is going to make things visible so let's use a brush of white color and paint something you see it's gradually coming back 
the places we paint white are becoming visible so that is exactly how the layer mask works so let me quickly so now i'm using a soft edge brush to clean the edges to make the edges hidden so i'm masking the edges of um the the, the young lady over here okay so after doing this um shit i just interrupted power right now so so i'm just going to arrange the picture carefully and then maybe you reduce the opacity a bit let's make it around 70 percent we still want the ladies this to be kind of visible so we'll go to the background again um i'll click here and then get this picture or uh, this color here and make a lighter version of it something like this and then use our soft edge brush so we'll kind of like brighten up the face of our lady our something like this okay so it's my first birthday this birthday i'm going to be breaking it like this something like this then this one i'll just reduce it a bit it's my first birthday I just make all of these white first and then for this bed i would like to include this tear splash it's a png file so if as i've said earlier if you want something like this you could always come to my inbox i'll be dropping my whatsapp contact down in the description section below so feel free to contact me i'll be glad to help you out once you're facing one or two challenges Okay, as I've said earlier on, today is my birthday. Don't forget to leave a comment for me. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a comment for me, and I'm damn serious this time around. Okay, so just you know, like let the tear splash just orange or just kind of like show on um, that side. Then Juliana is one today. Um, let's just say it's one today. Because it's our first birthday anyway so I'm going to be using the fonts called disclaimer okay so, yeah now I'm writing Juliana like this let's make it white so it could be a bit visible for us you see okay let me input the spacing okay I think getting better um, this is the picture of our young lawyer okay so we'll just check this in let's see we'll use our pen to to create something like this <coughs> just create an arc like this okay then create a new layer and fill it black or well, let's just fill it white now this Juliana we are going to create a layer mask for it if you come down here you see Juliana you create a layer mask then we use the selection from here by audio control and selecting this square so that we can select the selection of that arc we've drawn so we go under this juliana this mask over here and fill it black okay so i haven't filled it and um, if you hide this one you see the differences 
okay so i'm going to use my pen to to just take this part off completely by masking it off so you feel that part black also yeah. you know begin to feel it white feel it with black exactly so um you can then relay this one and then this other side you can just take it down like this okay so you just kind of like creating the design shop some people will be like what is this one doing and uh, just manage it like that <laughs> sometimes you just do something carelessly and they might end up being wonderful anyway so okay, i think julian i think it's okay like this shot so i'm just gonna manage it then it's plus one today i'm also gonna be using a white color for now so that everything just appears visible so i'm going to increase the size give it a white color okay then this one also give it a white color <laughs> kind of funny right okay so just so you just basically do that for now so now um this design i'm going to be doing what i call a touch of gold yeah golden touch we had a golden touch to our design and we're going to um we're going to actually add something something great um a vector um as a vector what do what i call this again um it's called textured yeah textured good color so we just apply it around our design around like this so all these files all these png files you can get them from me whenever you want it so um my contact whatsapp number is down in the description section below i've told you before but i'm telling you again so you can get it there so after taking the control alternative g will power clip it no it's yeah it's power clip but it's called clip clipping mask here in photoshop actually so i'm kind of more used to coral draw than photoshop but notwithstanding just get yeah just know it as power clip anyway because i'm used to power clip power clip it inside your power clip that's how we do talk so i'm kind of used to it yeah okay so um the bed day also we might want to merge them together first and then apply a golden texture to it no okay so we apply the golden texture or oh, i don't think there is need for that actually we can leave this one as white color then this bed day okay okay these two are the ones i made actually okay so i'm going to drag this in and then power clip it inside the bed day it's my face bed day yeah then we will size it to your the color is giving you what you want okay i think the design is actually beginning to <coughs> take shape gradually so um you just play around with it sha you can see this other part also we wanted to have the golden torch <laughs> so we just quickly add this in then for the background let me just quickly give it up the pattern of Ali if I've been watching my videos um I've done this before I think this is not my first or second time I'll be doing this in my videos but it's something I really love doing. So, you know, it's not compulsory you add the chair, but I just personally <coughs> like doing this in my design. So, we well, thank you all for watching this tutorial. As I've said before the video, now uh, before this tutorial started, today is my birthday. Wish me well. 
tell me something nice in the description section below and then if you need anything um i'll be glad to help you i also drop my whatsapp contacts in the description section below so thank you for watching this tutorial if you love it please don't forget to drop a like drop a comment and then subscribe so thank you very much my name is jawa graphics